So we will s Hello my fellow Latter-day Saints, Kenzie Wright of the Mormon Entertainer here, back with everything wrong with Tom and Jerry. And now, yes, I'm going to be going into Frady Cat. Now I know what you're thinking, why not do them all in chronological order? Because the night before, because the night before Christmas is specifically for Christmas. Yes, there will be some episodes that involve snow, but that's beside the point. The fact of the matter is, it's a Christmas episode, and I am going to be keeping that for Christmas. But nevertheless, it is Easter, and I am your Easter bunny for this weekend. So nevertheless, I've got two episodes for you. We've got Freddy Cat and Dog Trouble. This is gonna end well. Nevertheless, Freddy Cat, here we go. What they really should do is they really should start, they really shouldn't be recycling the music at this point because they really need to come up with something new at this point. Something a bit more memorable. <laughs> Just backs up my point. They need more, they need something else. The Barton Staircase! <laughs> first off, uh, how does, how's this one gonna work? Right, first off, Tom's reacting as if he's watching this on the television. What we need to bear in mind, we are in the 40s here and the television wasn't invented until the mid 50s. But I can't exactly put this in on because I would end up having to take it back off because that's pretty much the reaction that most people I know would uh, have regarding something like that. So, net zero, move on. Play upon the match. Wouldn't Tom end up developing hearing issues if he, if he ended up being too close to the radio? Slowly the door creaks open. Okay, take one off because that was very creative. I'll give them that. I'll give them that. That was creative. Combining the sound of the radio with what she was describing with the door literally creaking open behind Tom. But then I would need to put the sin back on because how does Tom not hear the door creaking open? The chamber. Jerry really loves seeing Tom suffer through all of this. The helpless girl feels her hair stand on end. I see chills race down her spine. Her heart leaps into her throat. Closer. Couple, okay, couple of things I need to point out there. One, Tom's not a girl. Two, if the icy chill was racing down her spine, wouldn't it be inside you? Because the spine is technically inside you. Because the spine, because the spine is a sequence of bones down your back, not literally your back. And also, and uh, and one more thing, that is not the correct shape of an actual human heart. That is a love heart associated with Valentine's Day. <laughs> And that practically backs up my point of why Jerry loves seeing Tom suffer. <gasps> and you do believe in ghosts, don't you? I'm gonna take a sin off because I'm classing that as a fourth wall break because it's as if she's talking to Tom and to us at the same time. That's a clear indication that Jerry's got an idea to make Tom suffer even more. Jerry calls this Tom to suffer before Tom actually clocks on it's actually Jerry. So that's one right out of the gate. Here we go. <laughs> that would definitely result in some pretty severe burns. <laughs> Your 
you're out of breath from running halfway across the room, Tom. Seriously. <gasps> Tom breathes a sigh of relief before more trouble ensues, cliche. <laughs> There's a, there's a, there's a, I, uh, there's a, there's a, and I'm going to faint and pass out, cliche. <laughs> Called it! There's no way it would be that powerful to let out that much water in one go, unless it was... something else. Vacuum cleaners are not that strong unless you've got a fan blowing in the opposite direction. Very strong fan for that matter. Hello, this is the operator. Will you please get off the line? <laughs> this is the operator. Will you please get off? He's holding on to the telephone and it's connected to the... <laughs> I'm taking a sign off on that one. That's, again, very creative. <laughs> Oh ha 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 ha! Oh ha ha! Very funny. Cats have nine lives. Yeah, but technically the real Tom makes it ten. So technically, wouldn't he have eight? <laughs> Tom got bitten by a ghost. Ghosts are see-through. You cannot touch them. They cannot touch you, unless you are a ghost as well. Unless you are a ghost. You cannot be touched by another ghost. Nine ghosts, nine sins. <laughs> Clearly number one's enjoying himself too much. <laughs> oh now Tom clocks onto the fact it was Jerry causing trouble with the vacuum cleaner the whole time. <laughs> You are aware that that's Tom literally looking right back at you! It takes Jerry three attempts to realize he's actually got Tom right behind him. For that, three sins. <laughs> Yeah, that's definitely not working anytime soon. Tom's reaction is so accurate to pretty much me at this point, I'm retracting a sin. I'm not that evil. Even being cutesy ain't gonna work against a very ticked off Tom. Now, how would Jerry be able to hide from Tom if he was still hiding in that um, dress, whatever he, whatever it's called? All Tom would have to do is look up, or in between all the holes and secret escapes, etc., just to be able to find him. But from here, it looks like to uh, Jerry. Ah, uh, never mind. Just count the send and move on. Jerry, you've tried that twice already! You also think it's gonna work again? That would result in broken teeth. Big Mama with a rolling pin in hand? That's not a good sign. Oh, that's not a sin, by the way. I'm just making a point. That sounds like a burglar prowling around in that pile. Or maybe it's just Tom and Jerry up to their usual shenanigans. Did you not consider that? Now how would 
Jerry be able to run all the way up that? You're looking for trouble, Mr. Burgula. Here I come. Pretty much the reaction to pretty much anybody that suspects there's a burglar in the house. Oh dear. This one's not going to end well. Tom thinks the person in that nightgown is really Jerry, when in reality it's Big Mama. This is not going to end well, as we shall now eloquently demonstrate. <laughs> Now, from that visual perspective, you'd obviously think, yeah, he's using the vacuum cleaner again, but nope, no way. Also, Tom sneaks up on who he thinks is Jerry, and it turns out to be Big Mama, and she ends up causing more suffering to Tom. <laughs> Tom, you should not be able to stretch that long. You're not a slinky. You shouldn't be able to surf on, you shouldn't be able to surf underneath the table either. Tom, you no good cat! Attacking from the rear, eh? Telling attacker off for attacking from behind, cliche. We'll take this! And this! And get out of here, you good-for-nothing moth-eating mousetrap! <laughs> okay, uh, okay, I'm sorry, I'm gonna take a send off for the creative ways uh, that uh, Big Mama calls Tom names while causing suffering to him at the same time. <laughs> Jerry, that's your own reflection! That's the sort of mirror you'd- that's the sort of reflection you'd find in a hall of mirrors. <laughs> And Jerry's confusion as to what it was when in reality it was his own reflection. Well, uh, shorter than expected, because uh, uh, I couldn't actually find I couldn't actually find that many here. But uh, here's hoping I still got a fair. Uh, Amount, uh, but in any case, hmm? uh -oh. uh, in any case, uh, that does it for today's episode of Everything Wrong with Tom and Jerry. Um, so uh, tomorrow, Easter Sunday, I've got a, I've got another episode of Everything Wrong with Tom and Jerry, and then that's me off for a week because I'll be celebrating my birthday weekend, and I'll, um, next week, and uh, I'll be like I said, I'll be taking the week off. So tomorrow's gonna be my last video before I go on my birthday slash um, spring break. Anyway, I'll see you guys there uh, tomorrow with uh, Everything Wrong with Tom and Jerry episode entitled. Dog trouble. That one's gonna end well. So, see you again soon. Have a fantastic day. Peace out and stay faithful. Also, Tom sneaks up on who he thinks is Jerry, and it turns out to be Big Mama, and Big Mama causes trouble. No, she doesn't cause trouble. Also, Tom sneaks up on what appears. And that backs up my point about Jerry loving to. <laughs> Dang it.